This is as groovy as it gets. Oprah, can you hear me? Oprah vs. Donald 2020 is a conversation by Julie Benetti and Susan Barbro and a production of EI Alliance, copyright 2019. America is courtesy of New Threads off their new album, Polonius Wilma. Hi, this is Julie, and I'm here with Susan, and we are driving north while we're doing this podcast, and we decided, let's talk about Oprah. So we wrote a book called Donald J. Trump, Do You Stand With Him? Who Does He Stand With? The Science and Energy Behind Trump. And we've discussed it in numerous episodes of our podcasts. Oprah, can you hear me? Oprah versus Donald 2020, Mm -hmm. which you can listen to all those episodes. We've discussed our book. Yet, you know, it was funny. I was thinking about how this book we could have titled how to beat Donald Trump, but we didn't. Instead, we looked at the energy and the science and energy behind Trump, and we didn't title it how to beat him because I'm, I'm not political. Well, time, I keep saying that. At the time, that. that wasn't our goal. We were actually trying to answer another question. The question was, which everybody was asking, and no one had the answer, what is he doing? How is he winning? I go to the Saturday Night Live. They were joking at the things that he was doing, and Kate McKinnon, she was really funny because she would be like there laughing and dancing like, there's no way Trump can right. win, right. and yet that's what happened. When we said how to beat Trump, here's the answer. You be all of you. And that would mean that you don't play Trump's game. You turn the game to how you win. But guess what? This is the hard part. Nobody knows who they are. Right. And so this is why now we veer it and angle it to Oprah. Hi, Oprah, who's also doing a podcast now with Gail. What's that about? I'm going to go on a tangent. But it takes me back to, I remember when Rosie O'Donnell came out with her talk show. And it was great. Hi, Rosie. And it was fun. And I think she's now on Sirius Radio. And maybe we'll be there right beside her someday. But anyway, she came out and did the talk show. And then everybody loved it. And then she came out with a magazine. And I remember some interview way back when. She said, you know, Oprah's done it all. And she was just modeling after Oprah. Because because Oprah had done all the work. She could take that as a model and proceed along the same course because kind of Oprah had done it. So my big long point from that, which I'll extend to, is Donald Trump has recreated the presidency. And we wrote this book. It tells you how to beat Trump, right? Yeah. And on the back cover, we say, what does Donald J. Trump have over the American people? Difficult question to answer, yet we did because we looked at energy, I would like to rephrase it and say, what does Oprah have over the American people? That is not a difficult question to answer. No, that's true. You know, uh, and I'm going to say it. I said it before. I'm going to say it again because I just thought of this. So Oprah's going to run. And you know how I can tell you? Because subconsciously, she and Gail came together and beautifully called their new podcast the OG Chronicles. So subconsciously, I think they screwed it up, and it's the G.O. Chronicles. (laughs) She's going to go. Go, Oprah. Go, Go. Oprah, go. Go, Oprah, go. And I think (laughs) that the podcast itself is indicative that she needs to do something. I grew up with Oprah, and I have a lot of respect for what she's done. She's done a huge amount of things. So I can say this, that I look at her, and then I look and I say, why is she doing a podcast? Mm. And the other side of it is that why would you go from having a TV conglomerate, and then you go to a podcast? I mean, I I don't understand that. I know people listen to podcasts, but I'm going to say it. What else does she have to say? She has interviewed everybody. She has given her own opinion to things. What more can you say on a podcast? You and I sit down, and if we don't have anything new to say, we don't do a podcast. Right. And I would like to share what else she has to say. She only has one thing to say. I'm running for president. Yeah, that's it. That's all she has to say, Oprah. Very easy. Well, and the other side of it is that I know podcasts are now the biggest thing with the younger generation. That's all that they're listening to. And it's a very powerful way of getting your voice out there. And so I guess my suggestion, not suggestion, because I'm not going to suggest anything to her because anyone can say, who the hell are you, is wh- what are you really trying to say? Mm. That, and, and really, what are you trying to do? And um, I still think it's a bid for the presidency. I still think she's going to run. Mm-hmm. And I think she can beat Donald Trump. And anyone can beat Donald Trump, but not just anyone. Right. He is a formidable, a very formidable 
opponent mm -hmm. and anyone who walks in there without being very clear is never going to survive you right. have to be so clear people know that i've been doing work with horses and i know the minute i let my guard down horses like to test it you have to really be clear and you have to watch them because they're constantly watching you right and if you go in there kind of half-assing it or thinking about something else they're going to run the show and you're going to be like whoa what just happened and i think it's the same thing with trump you have to be really clear on who you are because he is a master at distraction 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 right. pulling you off course right. and if you're not very solid on who you are like karate or, right. or judo if you don't have a strong stance forget it mm -hmm. you're going down and it's sometimes it's just about time to turn around and say I'm clear you know I was talking about writing earlier and I was talking about you know what this piece I'm working on about my dad I'm talking about what aspect of it am I writing I need to be clear about it it can go in a hundred different directions yet if you're clear and you say I'm clear about it you can't be unclear and that's hard that to me is the hardest part of that yeah look at all the work she's think, done and I think if when Oprah said that she lives by the truth and she couldn't be in that race she'd get eaten alive because she's she stands by the truth well my feeling is if that is the truth <laughs> that she has nothing to worry about mm -hmm. she's going to be very clear and again I'm going to say it, that's a hard thing to do being really clear it on is. who you are but once you start developing that skill of being who you are then it's like anything it becomes habit it becomes more natural right. you're comfortable in your own skin and and I say it's hard because most people can't do that and the you funny would, thing is that's all she has to move with so you know she's been doing tons of work people do lots of work that's all she has to move with is well, herself but that's but what I'm saying is that's the difficult thing I think for anybody is being who you are nobody knows who they are everyone's looking for someone to tell you who you are you go to a psychic people say oh my god they knew exactly who I was I'm like so why do you go to psychic to you know who you are in mm -hmm. fact you can go and pretend to be someone else in front of everybody else but when you come home and you look in that mirror or at two or three o'clock in the morning when you wake up and something you did or didn't do that gnaws at you it's you you can't fool yourself you can't right, right. and people who try to it they're so easy to push off course very easy and so Oprah's done all this work. She's worked with gurus, with people that have helped her. It's really time to move in that space. And you know, it's like, I, I, I can't tell her, but I can. It's like, isn't really that what life's about? It's, mm. it's time to go in that space and mm. say, you know what? I do know who I am. It's right. time to be me. And if it's the, and not that she has to be Oprah, uh, Oprah, you know, President Oprah to, to, to confirm that. But to go in that space, it also is 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 really that's what life's about, right? Is being and, in that space, and isn't that a wonderful model for everybody else? Sure. Not that that's her job, but that's no. just a wonderful model because we say it all the time: be the yeah. model. So there you go, Oprah. That's all I have to say. And <laughs> well, I think, you, and I think subconsciously you already put it out there. Yep. When you called it the OG. Yep. Now you didn't want to call it the OG. You wanted to called the G.O. The G.O. Podcast. There you go. Thank you for listening to this production from EI Alliance. Check out our Amazon authors pages for books and podcasts along with our Donald Trump and Oprah books for this series. Find great music by New Threads on iTunes, Spotify, and on newthreads.us.